Il y a 50 ans aujourd'hui. 50 years ago today. Il y a 50 ans aujourd'hui. 50 years ago today. Il faisait froid. It was cold. But if it was cold outside, you know, because it was very cold on Parliament Hill, our hearts were very warm with pride as a new Canadian flag was raised for the first time. Yeah. I was there with my three colleagues, Renard Gay, Auguste Chaquette, and Ian Watson. We were there for a very difficult debate that lasts for months. I was there, you know, when at the end of the vote, when those who had voted for the flag got up to sing O Canada, and unfortunately, they were booed. We were there, I remember right after that, going from the second floor to the fifth floor, there was pushing around between members of parliament. One push, whole George Michael Wright from Ottawa Centre, Minister of Public Works. And I was there again, and in fact, for the first time for the Shawinigan handshake to solve the problem. <laughs> it was a great day. And it was in my judgment with Mike Pearson, the great Mike Pearson, the Nobel Prize, you know, the emancipation of Canada, starting again. You know, that new Canada that was to be developed. It was the period where we started to move on our own, you know, to be making, changing the society. We went, after a difficult debate on that, the Royal Air Force became the Canadian Air Force. The Royal Navy became the Canadian Navy. I don't know why we're going back, but it's another problem. <laughs> you know, it was the time that, because all under the Canadian flag, you know, we were moving. We started to Medicare, the Canada Pension Plan, it was under this flag that we did the national anthem. <laughs> the two official languages. It is at this time under this flag that we started to open Canada to immigrants, not only anymore from Europe, but from Asia, and I see a lot of you there who came from Asia, you know, China, <laughs> India, <laughs> Philippines, Pakistan, and many others. And after that, it was under this flag that the people start to come from the Caribbean islands to Canada. <laughs> it was under this flag that they start to come here from Latin America. You know, we were there because we had to build a place for Canada. We started, to, we were a colony only a couple of generations before, and we started to move on. And when my friend, Mr. Trudeau, was a prime minister, you know, we became part of the G7, only, you know, involved in all the big problems, big solutions of the world. And after that, under this flag, at the United Nations, when it was the time for Canada d'avoir son siège au Conseil de sécurité, to have a seat on the Security pas, Council, ce n'était pas un problème pour M. Trudeau de l'avoir. It wasn't a problem for Mr. Trudeau to have it. Ce ne fut pas un problème non plus Nor sur was M. It a problem de l'avoir. Under Mr. Mulroney to secure a seat. Évidemment, ce n'était aucun problème. Of course. Plus tard, de it was uh, no problem later on you know, to secure one either. Canada, 
was respected. You know, we, we were proactive. We were showing the world what it was to build a modern society with the diversity that we have and I see today. You know, it was the Canada that helped, for example, Nelson Mandela and his run to beat to make his country a normal country with so much generosity. So Trudeau it was very difficult too for Mr. Maroney, I remember, because he was fighting Madame Thatcher. I don't know why. But during all that period of time, there was a huge disagreement on that. And it was when I was there that he was liberated and we made him. It was a great moment in my life to make my son Mandela a Canadian citizen. That was the Canada that the last 50 years, we were an example to everybody. You will remember, for example, in the 1934, 95, 96, 97, and so on, every year, the report of the United Nations on quality of life was always making Canada number one. <laughs> now we have dropped to eight, nine, 10, 11. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it was under this flag that we were promoting the power of, of the middle power when we initiated the great treaty of the landmine treaties so to ban this awful instrument of war <laughs> that we were the initiator of the Canadian International Court of Criminal Justice it was under this flag that we had accepted, unfortunately it's not there anymore, Kyoto. You know, something happened. Something happened, and it's not funny, it's sad. C'est triste parfois de voir ça. It's sad to see that sometimes. When we were defeated at the United Nations for a seat on the Security Council, it was sad. I remember a few months after that, I was in New York, and a former president of Portugal and a former Prime Minister of Portugal telling me we cannot believe that we defeated Canada at the UN. I was not very happy that day. But, you know, what's happening is that, is politics sometimes is looked by people with suspicions. But I leave it. I gave you some example of the things that happened during the 50 years since 1963 you know, 65, when we joined Parliament with my three colleagues who are with me here today. You know, what this country has become, it was an example to the world. Everybody was looking up at Canada. I was at meeting, international meeting. <laughs> when they were debating the problem of immigration, the difficulties they had in Europe with immigration, and I was telling them that in Canada, we don't see immigration as a problem. We don't see an immigrant as a problem. We see an immigrant as an asset for the nation. <laughs> you know, under Mike Pearson, when I ran for him as a kid, you know, uh, in 19... 1963, how proud we were they had been the Nobel Prize. Because you can imagine the difficulty Canada had at this time. There was a war between Great Britain and France against Egypt, and we stepped in. 
and at the suggestion of Mike Pearson, the key peacekeeper were established. The blue beret were created. You know, we were a country that was not living in fear. There is one of the great moments, hein, des très grands moments pour moi. One of the great moments for me was when 2001. September 11, 2001 occurred. Et que and nous avions une décision à prendre. we had a decision to make. Il fallait, dans toutes les capitales, In all the capitals, des cérémonies there were ceremonies honor to honor the victims de la tragédie du 11 September. of uh, the September 11th tragedy. Country, the tragedy of September 11. That day, Canadians were not fearful. 100 Canadians came on the hill, while in the other countries like United States, France, Great Britain, and so on, the leaders will meet in cathedral, surrounded by armed forces. 100 Canadians came to show their support on the hill, not afraid. Because Canada is not a country that should be afraid of anything. <laughs> but politics create changes, sometimes for the better, sometimes not for the better. But that is democracy. And democracy is there when we need it.